Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Pravin Kumar Bumisetti. In this video, we'll cover Snowflake Frequently Asked Interview Question. Those who are preparing for interview, this video will be helpful. Okay, let us discuss one by one. So what are the ways to log into Snowflake Data Warehouse? Okay, it can be logged in by using what? It can be what? By using Classic Console, SnowSide, and SnowSQL. These are very, very important. Okay, so by using Classic Console, SnowSide. These two are user interface. SnowSQL is the CLI, command interface. Okay, by these three ways, we can able to log into Snowflake Data Warehouse. But that is Classic Console, SnowSide, and SnowSQL. Second question is that what? Okay, how to check Snowflake version? Okay, if you want to check the latest version, by using what? By using the query, select current version. By this, we can able to figure out what is the version we are using. Next question is that what, what are Snowflake internal tables? So there are permanent table, transient table, and temporary table. So by default, permanent table will be created. If you want, we should mention transient tra temporary keyword. If you want to create transient table, we should mention transient keyword, temporary table, temporary keyword, or temp keyword. One more time. So by default, permanent table will be created. Okay, so when you want to create explicitly, we should mention transient and temporary keyword. Does truncate is a DDL or DML Snowflake? Okay, see. Next question is that what, okay, does truncate is a DDL or DML? In Snowflake, truncate is a DML command. Whereas in normal RDMS, truncate is a DDL. But in Snowflake, it will access DML. So we need explicitly commit to control this transaction. Next question is that what, does put command work on web VA? Okay, so the answer is no. Remember, the put command and get command only work in Snow SQL is command line interface. Okay, so it doesn't work in Classic console or snow side. One more time, the put command and the get command won't work in the UI. It work only in the CLI command line interface. Next question is that what? How to call UDF? UDF is nothing but user defined function. So we are trying to create our own function based on the requirement. It can be achieved by using select. Okay, see select function name. Okay, see function can be called by using select function name. If you have any arguments, we can able to follow this argument. Okay. So next question is that what, how to call processor. So processor can be called by saying call processor name. Okay, so this is one of the important question. Okay, so how can you call the processor? How to execute the processor? By saying call processor name. If you have any arguments or parameter, we should pass here. Similarly, who will perform CACD? What is CACD? Okay, CACD is nothing but it's a continuous integration and continuous deployments. Okay, so in real time projects, it will be done by DevOps or operations team one more time so ca cd is nothing but what code. okay continuous integration and continuous deployment the code movement okay so this done by this will be done by devops or operations teams now how to check udfs okay so there are so many udfs created by you by us okay how to check so by using what show user functions okay see we can able to write show functions or show user functions in show function will get built in as well as user function but if you want to we'll go for show user functions use udf network user defined function we are trying to create our own function how can achieve using show user functions it will give list of functions created by us same the next question is that what does cloned object will have storage the answer is no because cloning is now called as zero copy cloning without any additional storage we are trying to take a backup the answer is no it won't have any any storage okay only one physical storage will be there okay so the answer is no does cloned object doesn't have any storage. Next question is that what default detection time of snowflake tables. What we discussed now, like just now we discussed. So we're having permanent table, transient tables, and temporary tables. So for all these three tables, so default detection is one day. It is one day. So answer is one day. So for all these things, if you want to, we can able to change. Next question is that what can metalized views can be created on multiple tables? Okay, so this is an important question. If you attend end to this question will be compulsory answer. The answer is no. So because metalized views can be created on only single table. One more time. So this is very important. So metalized views created can be on a single table only. Not multiple tables, it is not allowed. Only single table, it is possible. Okay. Next question is that what can you create snow pipe on internal stages? Okay. So most of the people will work only on external stages, but introduce the last like, okay. So can we create snow pipe on internal stages? Yes, the answer is yes. Okay, so for internal stages also, we can able to create the snow pipe. Next question is that what ways to check the time travel? Okay, how can you check the time travel? Okay, it can be checked by using what? By using, by using query ID, offset, and timestamp. Okay, so mostly this query ID, 
But the question is that what, how many ways we can able to check the time travel. Before that, time travel is nothing but what, accessing historical data. How can I access the historical data? By using query ID or by using offset or by using timestamp. These are the three ways. Next question is that what, snowflake additions, okay? So what are the snowflake additions we are having? We are having standard edition, enterprise edition, business critical, and VPS. One more time, standard edition, enterprise edition, business critical, and VPS network. Virtual private snowflake. Okay, so most of the companies will use enterprise or business critical depends on requirement. Okay, see. So if anybody asks into like what edition, we would say like either enterprise or business critical depends on the requirement. Okay. So VPS network is a virtual private snowflake. So next one is that what view to check storage of a table. If you want to check that, we should go for what table storage metrics in the information schema dot. Table storage metrics, we can able to find this table storage. Okay, so how much volume does okay, see by using table storage metrics. Next question is that what ticket tracking or ticketing tool? Okay, it can be what? It can be Zira, ServiceNow, or Azure DevOps. So sometimes like home companies will use Zira Atlassian tool or ServiceNow or Azure DevOps tool. Okay, so by this we can able to figure out. Same thing. Next question is that what we used to check storage of a table okay next question is that what how can you check the storage of a table okay this one already discuss i guess okay it's a table storage matrix okay now next question is that what how to store semi-structured data this is very important semi-structured data in the sense like what either json xml avro parquet or orc it can be actually by using what by using variant data type Okay, this is very important. One more thing is that what? How can you store semi-structured data? Before that, understand semi-structured data is nothing but what? It can be JSON, XML, Avro, Parquet, or ORC. The answer is variant. Next question, how to implement CDC? CDC is nothing but change data capture. Okay, what are changes happen on the table like DMS? We should capture. How can you implement by using streams? Okay, so by using streams, we can able to achieve. Next question is that what, what are the databases or instances available in a project? If you work in a real time project, so they'll have like different, different databases. See what databases will have, will have development database, DevDB, testing, UAT, user acceptance testing, pre-prod, pre-productions and a prod. Okay, so first to four are non-prod environments. Next one is the prod environment. So development, testing, user acceptance testing, pre-production and production. First four are called non-prod environments this is production error same thing next question is about load only while record storing okay so suppose like copy is nothing but data loading from different sources into snowflake table okay now requirements that what uh, suppose like i'm having one file there are 100 records are there out of 100 records 10 records are error records but i want to load only 90 valid records then we should mention keyword like what's the keyword we should mention honor equal to continue okay say honor equal to continue same thing. Next question is that what similar question. If any error occurs, need to stop you now. Same question. I will what discuss. Okay, see, I want to load only valid data. Next question is that what if any error occur, I want to stop. Okay, suppose like in a file, 100 records are there. If one error occur, I don't want to load any record. Then, then we should go for honor equal to abort statement. These two are very, very important. Okay, yes, one more time. Honor equal to continue to load only valid data. On equal to about statement to, to stop the operation. It won't load any data. In a similar fashion, does metalized view will have storage? And the answer is yes, because metalized view is nothing but say pre-computed result. The result will be stored physically. That's why it's called as it's store, it, it will call it will have physical storage. The answer is yes. Same thing. Can you perform DMLs on metalized views? The answer is no, because it is not well performed DMLs on the metalized views. Okay, any views, DMLs are not allowed. In a similar fashion, which constraints Snowflake enforces? Remember, so Snowflake supports unique constraint, not null, primary key, foreign key, and default constraint. But what happened? It enforces only not null constraint. This is very, very important. Okay. Snowflake support all type of like creation. What we can go for not null, unique, primary key, foreign key, default. But it allows only, it enforces only not null constraint. Next question is that what, how to check that stream has data or not. So stream is nothing but what say used to capture CDC. How can you check by saying system dollar stream has data, we should mention the stream name. One more time, how to check the stream has data by saying system dollar stream has data, that is stream name. Okay, by this it will return boolean, either true or false. Okay. Now next, next question is task index. Okay, so create task, task name, warehouse, Compute warehouse, 
scale like one minute, two minutes. Okay, as SQL statement or processor. One more time. So task is nothing but a scheduler. It can be used to execute SQL statement or it is used to call the processor. Okay. So create task task name warehouse warehouse name because if you want to perform anything computation power required okay schedule like this way next question is that what i have a file in external location s3 as soon as i place the file it needs to load the snowflake table okay what is the approach the question is that what okay so there are files or files that keep on coming in the s3 location but what happened whenever it come i need to load as it okay then what happened you should go forward you should go for snow pipe question is that what we are getting the files continuously for contents data we should go for snow pipe concept next question is that what streams metadata fields okay so what are the metadata fields we're having in the streams okay it can be what okay it can be metadata dollar action metadata is update metadata dollar right. okay so one more time so this is very important again okay. how can you capture like okay by this we can able to find whether I, whether we are perform insert update or delete so metadata dollar action dollar is update dollar row ID. by this we can able to figure out okay see whether we are performing insert update or delete okay by this we can able to find whether we are performing insert update or delete okay so hope this is clear so okay so these are very very important concepts okay those are attending for intro right to watch this but this is very very important okay so